Beep. <clears throat> a good morning, good afternoon, and good evening wherever you're watching this. I'm back out again today because I love it. I do love it. I'm going out metal detecting. Oh, today I'm going on some stubble land. <clears throat> I haven't been on this year. I haven't been on this stubble this year. Um, and it has bowed me reasonably well in the past. Not amazing, but reasonably well. But I haven't given it my full attention. Uh, and there's a good reason I haven't given my full attention. I get a lot of interference on this field. A lot of interference. So today I'll be switching from frequencies to modes to try and figure out with my Equinox 800 what is the best sort of settings I can use on a very um, busy sort of interfery field. Um, hello, Mr. Girl. Uh, so that's what I'll be doing today. Um, hopefully, I want some silver. Dave smashed it in my last video. He got two bits of silver. I got none. Ooh. But that's another metal detecting for you. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it isn't. You just gotta walk over the targets. But the main thing is persevering with it. Just persevere with it eventually. If you're new to the hobby, uh, if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. But if you're new to the hobby, the number one thing about metal detecting is perseverance. Um, other than that, yeah. I'm gonna go and, um, you know, the field. It's cold, it's wet. It hasn't stopped raining since the last one out of Dave. Apart from now, literally driving over here, the rain stopped and there is little patches of blue sky. So hopefully that is a good indication. I'm going to have a good day. And the field is full of crows. And if you don't know, I like crows. So that's kind of my thing, you know. Right. Let's go do this. Have a trot. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my first signal of the day is the... I'm seeing to be cursed to these at the moment. Rings. Rings, but not proper rings. They're like tarp. That's not a tarp ring. That's older than that. Uh, like bridal rings. Um, but you always got to be careful. They could be annular brooches. We're missing the pin. I found one annular brooch with a pin. <laughs> That's it so far. The rest of them seem to just fall off. So you never know what it could be, but I'm going to call that a, a bridal ring. Right. Hope it gets better than this. Let's crack on. Off a chop. And my next signal oh, is an amazing, it's a spoon handle, or it could be a fork. I'm gonna go with spoon, it's gonna be a spoon handle. Uh, pewter, got some writing on the back, but it's nothing interesting of age, really, is it? Hey, right, let's crack on. Well, for a fan of a live dig, you, you kind of miss these, but there's a small 2021 20, here, 22. Um, if you noticed, I've managed to beat up the interference by switching it just to 20 rather than having it on multi but that only works a part of the field as well other part of the field I need to switch it to 15 so yeah I always have a play with your machine try and get the perform as best as you can this is a ring and a 20 a nice little tight one nice little surface one but what is it Oh, bit of a nippy one now. Well, give it a whirl, give it a whirl. Might not even be used. Oh, oh, oh. I might have missed the old. Well done, Grim. Absolute leg end. <laughs> right, I've got it out. It might be in this clod here. Please be something. What is that? What was that? Ah, uh, just a bit of turt. Anyway, that's it. Just a bit of turt. Live dig. Can't make them up. This really does grind my gears. Um, I know for a fact there's one other detector that's allowed on um, this particular field. Uh, he's obviously dug a bit of iron up. I thought, oh, do you know what? I'll just leave it there. I'll just leave it there, you know? Just. Uh, Next to the hole, and just leave. Just take it with you. Oh. Right, rant over. Let's crack on. Holy moly, moly, moly. On to my next signal. Um, I seem to be on a, a roll with these at the moment. Sticking out the clod there. Can you see it? Dead center of the screen. I'm going to say that's a watchwinder. Oh, yeah. A bit rusty one end. Is that rusty? Yeah, it must be a poor man's watchwinder, but still a watchwinder at that. Cool to find. Oh, the sun's coming out now and it's a nice warm day. Brilliant. The ground's still sodden and wet, so the signals are still pinging. Right, hope you drop. 
All right, ladies and gentle beans, uh, just a rusty buckle. I won't show this too much because it's just a rusty buckle. Right. <laughs> He's on to his first bloody button of the day. Oh, it does brighten my day. If I find the buttons, it means I won't be missing coins. So, yeah, the settings are working. I'm getting nothing super deep at the moment. Um, I don't know why that is. Maybe because there's nothing super deep. You don't know, you don't know. But anyway, my first button of the day. Rubbish one at that. Off chop. On to my next signal, my next one. It's only another bloody button, but it's got a lovely little twirly pattern on it, look. Lovely little twirly pattern. I think that would have been a button for a lady, a lady's button. Right, let's crack on. Well, I want a bit of an older buckle now. Uh, not as old as I wanted. I want some sort of medieval, at least. Roman, even better. Saxon, over the friggin' moon. Celtic, I'll be doing a little dance, but uh, other than that, just a buckle, isn't it? Well, 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 looks like I'm on first coin. Uh, it doesn't seem to be that old, though. Or is it? He said, or is it? Ooh. Not sure on that, you know? Is that a little Jordan farthing? Here is that. Little Jordan farthing, look. Yeah, man. Do you know what? These are... I'm going to say quite rare, because I haven't had one, I don't think. I'll have some of that all day long. Woohoo! Got a bust off it as well. First corner of the day, and it's a decent one. Just a little bit of silver now. Not finding a lot. Well, I am. I'm finding bits and bobs. Um, I'm actually really enjoying myself, though. Even though I'm not finding a lot, I'm actually really... The sun has come out. The blue sky's burst through them horrible clouds it started raining earlier um it's really brightened my day up i've still got about five hours out on the field so i am gonna go and um yeah just keep enjoying myself i'm hoping the good vibes radiate to the ground and find me some good stuff but even if it doesn't i'm out enjoying myself with beautiful views <sighs> right get the stride button off drop i think i've just found an arrow ahead don't quote me um, I've just picked it up and had a look. Let's look at. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> it's not an arrowhead. It's a little leather fitting. It's got the little prongs on the back. Or is it a little brooch? I'll never clean up. But that, <laughs> I thought that was an arrowhead, first of all. It could be a little leather fastening thing. It looks pretty cool, though, doesn't it? Got some age to it, I'm gonna say possibly medieval. Yeah man, let's go in the good pot. Obviously, along with my coin. Right, let's crack on. I really hope today's just not another button and buckle day. Um yeah, really rusted up in the middle, but it's still another little lovely buckle. I wanna find some old old stuff. Right, let's crack on. On to my yet. Well, on to my yet, onto my what looks like my second coin of the day. It could be a button but don't quote me on that it's a button isn't it it's a button it's got a little shank bit rubbish oh you get right still only on one and a fool of a button right out of this hole here kicked over boom i want to a tuna rose and i think it's just a bit of furniture fitting it's got a hole in the middle <laughs> but yeah it very looks well it looks like a tuna rose to me very crudely made as well right Cool. Alright gentlemen, the heavens have just opened up. <clears throat> I did a little bit of a wipe on this, I can see a glint of gold coming through. I think whatever it is, this might be gold gilded. What is it? I don't know, I don't, does it... A little hair clip maybe? Well, I get... A, it looks like a little hat, doesn't it? I'm gonna get a toothbrush out on it, but that's cool. Almost gold. <laughs> right, I've just got the toothbrush out on it, and it's definitely like a little hat, but like a little flat cap. I don't think it's that old. It's a posy little pin badge or something. Got a little catch on it there. I don't know, I don't know. Pretty cool though. So you never know what you're gonna find when digging holes. Um, if you can notice, the heavens have literally just opened up. 
yeah, but you know me, I'm going out digging in this weather so you can sit back in your armchair, chill out and watch it. So, yeah. Enjoy! Have a trot. I was just um, <clears throat> trying out different modes and models on the field. I switched it to part two. Just just for a change on 20 kilohertz. And I only did that just up here. I come down, swinging, swinging. It might just be the luck of the draw, but I think I want to bloody hammer. Look at that. Looks like a, an old one as well. Oh, look, look at the imprint. I can tell that's a long cross. <laughs> wow, check that out. In the freaking moon, right? I'm gonna get it cleaned up and see if I get a monarch off it. It's probably gonna be Edward, but it looks a bit crudely made for Edward. But I'm gonna call it an Edward. Let's see what we can do. Good, good. This is a bit of a squirt up. Um, yeah, it's good looking like an Eddie, but it's very crudely made. I mean, the front stamp there is missing half the legend of the outside, but it hasn't really been clipped that much. Maybe a little bit, but you can still see most of it this side. Hmm. I'm happy though. He's on the hammered. He's on the old hammered. Where the freaking moon with that? Right, so we can find some more. Got uh, about two hours left and it's still very well. I think it's just stopped raining now. Happy days. Oh, shut up you. <laughs> right, put it in the pot and crack on. Off we drop. Oh, excuse the wind, I was the next find. Sitting there pretty, it's another one of these little medieval mount things. And this one actually still has the gold guild on it. It's like a heart shape, that one, rather than an arrow shape like I thought the other one was. Excuse the wind, guys. Yeah, man. I do like these. Cool. Right, I don't know what it is because I'm, I'm not using multi frequency, I'm using 20 kilohertz. Um, I've never dug so many iron buckles in my life. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. Six of them. It's just crazy. It just seems to love iron buckles. It rings off just nicely. But there you go. That's why I might share that with you. Let's crack on. Just dug this up and I thought it was a coin to start with. <clears throat> but now looking at it, I don't think it is. It's got something on there. What's that? I don't know what it is. I'm going to get a toothbrush out and clean it up. Ah, I think it might be a wheel to an old toy. Yeah, it's an old carriage wheel or something. I was thinking it's Saxon brooch. It's not. It's a carriage wheel to an old toilet. Anyway, that's all that is. Right, let's crack on. It's just the same hole. First of all, I've got a pinpointer in. It's only a bloody nail, look. Only a bloody nail. But then I carried on. I got this up. I don't know what it is, but that definitely looks old. Uh, I am going to get a toothbrush out and clean it up. It looks possibly. I don't know, actually. Some sort of clothespin, maybe? Or maybe even clothespin with it snapped off? Right, let's get toothbrush out and give it a clean. There it is all cleaned up. You can see this end here, whatever it's snapped off. It's like a closed fastening hook thing, I think. That's a very decorative one indeed. The most decorative one I've ever found. Got three flowers, so it could have been for a lady. Right, let's crack on. My windows are all steamy, man. Right, um, yeah, I'm back in the car. Uh, that's the end of my hunt. I got rained on numerous amounts of times it was blowing a hoodie or covered in mud i was cold but i enjoyed myself and that's what meditation is all about enjoying yourself getting out there getting amongst it and just seeing what you're gonna walk over you know you just never know what that next signal could be today i was blessed with one silver hammered coin and it made my day along with all the other artifacts made my day so yeah if you like what i do give it a thumbs up and a Hit that subscribe button if you use my channel and look, the wind's blowing my beard. I look like, what is his name? David Bellamy or whatever his name is. Right. <laughs> I don't even know his name. Is that his name? I don't know. Right, uh, I'll be going out again towards the end of the week. Who knows what I'll find then? Hmm, interesting. Right, let's go some grim. See you on the next hunt. Off a trot.